and welcome back. And again, we are here with Mr. Weldon. Um, so, okay, why don't you tell us a little bit? You are a scroll saw artist, correct? Right. Okay, so what is scroll sawing? What, how does that work? It's the scroll saw is a type of machine that a woodworking machine, excuse me, right. that takes fine scrolls, fine blades. Mm -hmm. um, they're usually five inches long, and they're maybe a few thousandths thick. Oh wow! Um, and you cut stuff out with it. With <laughs> you can you can, you make very interesting designs and different things like that. Right. You can make anywhere from baskets to pieces of art that hang on the wall. That's that and is, Christmas ornaments any, and anything in between, really. That is awesome. So, can you tell us what brought you into that medium? Um, me and my grandfather went to Big Lots one day when I was probably 12 or 13, and they had a scroll saw there. It was like $40. It was a cheap one. It lasted about a month. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a month. It, like, <laughs> like everything we buy. <laughs> right. I bought it, of course, and then after about a month, you know, it messed up, so I had to buy a different one. And now I have an even better one than then, and it's called an Excalibur. It's... <laughs> it's called an Excalibur? The Excalibur. <laughs> did you awesome. pull it from, like, a stone somewhere? I did. Like, wave it down. <laughs> a stump. A stump. <laughs> and then you a scroll stump. Something. I love it. <laughs> so, uh, we see that you've brought a few items with you. Why don't you show us some of okay. them? Uh, which one would you like to talk about majorly? Uh, let's we'll start with well, the bass. Okay, the <laughs> bass. This is a very intricate piece because yes. there's a lot of detail on the bass, and it, it kind of boggles my mind that you were able to to go through. <laughs> and what a wonderful present for an angler or anyone oh, yeah. that enjoys fishing. I mean, these are great, great gifts. Right. Well, living on Lewis Smith Lake, we. <laughs> I mean, that's that's something that you would see decorating any home. Right. Yeah. Especially since you know fishing culture is so popular here in Colorado. Right. It's so interesting. So basically, you can you can carve just about anything, can't you? Right. Especially with um, monogramming being so popular, mm -hmm. you could do that with a piece of wood and put right. it on your door or I hang mean, it on your wall. <laughs> so I made quite a few of those. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't mind, do you mind showing us exactly like how you made this piece? Okay. I start off. I usually make a copy of a pattern, a paper pattern. Okay. And then I use spray adhesive and attach it to the piece of wood after right. it's sanded and everything, of course. And drill blade entry holes because each cut that has, well, each of these are separate cuts. Right. And you, so you drill a bl entry hole and then thread the blade through it and then cut out that hole and then start the whole process over again. And this is a really thick piece of wood considered for scroll sawing. It's about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half thick. And it took, this was probably about two hours of work, three hours just for this little fish. Wow. That's some very intricate <laughs> cutting. I, I don't, I would not, number one, have the patience for it, but number two, have any of the skill about, you know, to be able to hold my hand steady long enough to make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely not something I could do. I'm not coordinated <laughs> enough for that. That is just really fascinating to me. So, I mean, can you use just about any wood, or does it have to be a particular kind? Or You can. Um, usually, if it's less than an inch and a half, it's, it's good. Um, you can use corian, the countertop material, plexiglass, and people's got metal, uh, thin metal on the scroll saw. Wow. So, that's you know, really, really a versatile tool. Now, you stated baskets earlier, and you have one. This is one made by you, correct? Right. This is made on the scroll saw, just like the fish was. How neat is that? Like, it looks just like, you know. It's a, it's a, it's a picnic basket. That's what I was immediately <laughs> It's awesome. Here. Now, how, did, how does this scroll saw help make this? I mean, I don't think it threaded that together for you. Yeah. Right. You cut out the basket just like you'd cut out the fish, which is the part right here, the, um, the horizontal pieces. There we go. And then after that's cut, you stack it up and put these little the other pieces, the vertical pieces, through it, and that holds it all together. And usually by the time you're done, it's so tight, you don't even need any wood glue. Oh, wow. And so it's pulled so tight. And I could never do that. <laughs> I could never, ever do that. That no. is absolutely fascinating to me. <laughs> could you put, like, lids and such on them? You could. And there's a, do you, a couple with lids. So just, oh, well, that'd be... <laughs> <laughs> do you and do these for people? Truth. I do. I do. I did the Bloomin' Festival for the first time this year. Oh, wow. And I usually do the Christmas craft show and at the Civic Center every year. And I have a website and Etsy store and all that fun stuff. Okay. 
Now I see. Now this is the one that we had the most trouble identifying at first, and it's. I guess it's because I'm not from here. You actually have one of Coleman County. Yes, this was. Sorry. Made using old barn wood from Southern Accents. Um, these are available exclusively at Southern Accents, also. And this is just cut out of the barn wood. I attach a backer at first, and then I glue the barn wood to the backer. Sorry. And, and then I follow the follow the outline of the backer and cut it out. That is awesome. And again, like wonderful, wonderful gifts. You know, yes, I mean, absolutely. birthdays, holidays are coming up. And for any event. Yeah. I mean, this is just that's just a universal gift that you can give that that lasts because of the material it's made mm -hmm. of, and that's right. that's the best part, is because it's. It's decorative. I mean, it can be practical depending on the type of item given. Yes. So, I mean, that's that's a cool thing to give. Mm -hmm. And uh, honestly, from the prices you've given, they're not that expensive at all. This right. is things that you would spend hundreds of dollars on at any other store, and you're giving it to us at like a half of that. <laughs> so. now, how much would something like that little Coleman County cutout be? These are $35 at Southern Accent. Okay. So. Um, did y'all do a big show with a lot of those pieces? We did. Well, they did. I'm, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was Southern Makers, and it was yeah. in Montgomery. That's a huge show. It is. I had the opportunity, or they gave me the opportunity to cut out the backdrop for the stage, and it was the state of Alabama with all 67 counties cut out of different pieces of barn wood. That's awesome. How long did it take you? About 80 hours. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's great. That's dedication to a craft. Yeah. I would, again, not be able to do. I'd have been like, eh, okay, you guys can have the lower half. And there you go. Now, yeah. what happened to that backdrop? It is now at Good People's Brewing in Birmingham. Oh, wow. wow. So your work is in Birmingham, too. It is. Okay. That is awesome. Well, there's one last piece here that I would like to ask about because I'm just going to do it. You have this fantastic cutting board here. Jacob right. really wants this. I do want the, the cutting board. Really okay. Does. Do you not see the detail? And oh, it's just, it's so smooth. If yeah. Now, you stated earlier that this was multiple pieces of wood right. put together. You cannot feel a seam here. <laughs> no, this, it's awesome. It's uh, and it's such it, it's obviously it's just so polished. Like I just oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. High quality cutting boards. I don't know if people know this. My my stepmother cooks a lot, mm -hmm. and she would spend a lot of money on a cutting board because they're so crucial in the kitchen. Keeping them washed, keeping them clean, keeping them sanitized. It's very difficult, especially it for wood based cutting boards, mm -hmm. because they they wear the right. enamels come off. Things like this, this is true quality stuff. So, like, this is not going to fall apart on you after a couple uses. Right. And it's just, it's so beautiful, honestly. That's fantastic wood, great craftsmanship. I'm actually really liking this. And if, Jacob, if I'm you guys buy don't buy you it, that board, okay? I'm just saying, look, I'm, I'm a guy who appreciates good artwork, and that is a piece of art within itself. Thank you. Yeah. It is, it is beautiful. Right. So, you do have a store. Uh, okay. You, it, it's online based. Online. Uh, do you have the website name for that? The yeah. audiences could. Um, WeldonScrollSawing.com, and, and I have do. a Facebook page also, which is facebookcom slash Sawing. And do you have a number that they could reach potentially? Two five six three three nine four four one three. All right. And uh, well, if you again, if you haven't seen any of his artwork before, he he does a lot of events around, so definitely go and see him. You know, if you're ever at the theater, see him there, <laughs> or not. I don't know. He makes it sound like he, he tries not will, to be there. Will you be at any of the upcoming festivals, um, Wing oh. Fest, or I mean, I know you said the Christmas Arts and Crafts Show. Will that be your next venture out? Right, as far as I know, right now. It okay. Is. I haven't pursued any others yet. Okay. Well, if I hear of anything, I'm going to send out. it your way so okay. that we can get you out and get you some more exposure yeah, because that is just such a unique hobby. And thank you. Wonderful. Well, again, we are so glad that you came on the show today and shared your artwork with us. Uh, we'll have some other pieces that eventually we'll probably be able to show on the show. We'd love to have you back at some point. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, thank you, and if uh, you'll join us in just a moment, we'll be right back. <laughs> 